The little boy who was lost in the woods says a bear kept him safe and warm. It was an incredible story. And while everyone was thrilled the three-year-old who wandered away was safe, there was understandable skepticism about that bear part of the story. Three-year-old Casey is back home after being lost in the woods for three days, a search that riveted the nation. Our number one priority is to find Casey. When Casey was found, his family says he was able to survive with the help of a friendly bear. He says a bear helped keep him safe. Casey was at his great-grandparents' home in North Carolina when he wandered into the woods, prompting a massive search that made national news. The desperate search for a missing three-year-old. Hundreds of volunteers are searching at this hour for a missing three-year-old boy. Hundreds of searchers looked for the little boy in the driving rain, using flashlights at night to find him before it was too late. Did you hear everyone calling your name? No. I want, I want to go home. You wanted to go home? Yeah. When hope was growing dim, Linda Fraker, walking her dog, heard something she never expected. When you heard those cries coming from the woods, did you think, oh, that could be Casey? Yes. <laughs> I was afraid it was. <laughs> Little Casey spent two nights in the woods battling freezing temperatures and heavy rain. Rescuers had to wade through waist-deep water just to get to the three-year-old. He was discovered tangled up in a thorn bush like this one, soaking wet, cold, and crying for his mother. We just want to tell everybody that we're very thankful that you took the time out to come search for Casey and prayed for him. And he's good. He's, he is good. I don't think there's a word to describe how happy I was. Then came the surprising turn in this story. Casey's aunt revealed on Facebook that Casey said he hung out with a bear for two days. Miracles do happen. He said that he was in the woods and I asked um, like, who are you with? And he said, a bear. Was it really possible? Did a wild black bear befriend Casey and keep the youngster safe? I went with wildlife expert Chris Lasher from the North Carolina Zoo to investigate. This territory where little Casey was found is, is perfect bear territory. They would definitely live in this area. So it's definitely possible. One theory out there is that the bear mistook Casey for a cub. Is that even possible? Bears are very nurturing animals, but they, they take care of their own. I'm, I'm not sure that a bear would see uh, a, a young child in distress as a, a possible, possible something that they have to take care of. Yeah! Casey's story has charmed everyone. Well-wishers have sent him dozens of stuffed bears. As for his mom, she knows not everyone believes a bear kept her son safe, but she does. If he said he was with a bear, he was with a bear. 